All right, thanks for that, Crystal. With the holidays getting closer and closer, this morning we're learning how to make beef the centerpiece of our meals with the help of Angie Horkin from Wisconsin Beef Council. Good morning, Angie. Good morning. So what do we have going on here today, So Angie? I have two of the most popular cuts for this time of year, um, especially here in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. We love making uh, like a prime rib, which is a rib or ribeye roast at the holidays. And actually, 70% of rib roasts are um, sold in the holiday season. Wow. So like from after Thanksgiving through like a little after New Year's. So very popular this time of the year. And also um, tenderloin roast. So um, kind of same cooking method, just different temperature. Um, both very tender, of course. So these roasts you want to just... Um, you don't need to tenderize them when you cook mm -hmm. them. So um, just a, a simple pan with a rack, and then you can add whatever sauce, whatever rub you like. We have lots and lots of different recipes, um, but 350 degrees for a rib roast. So this is a boneless, it's about four pound boneless ribeye roast, and I just put it on a, on a rack in a pan, 350 degree oven. This has an herb seasoning on it, so it's called our herb seasoned rib roast with a red wine pan sauce. And all the rub is is some steak seasoning, dried thyme, and dried oregano. Yeah, pretty simple. Very simple. Um, you can go a lot fancier with your rubs. We've got some with some dried mushrooms, crushed pistachios, all of that, fresh herbs. Of course, you could substitute in. Um, or just a little garlic, salt, and pepper is perfect too because this is a ribeye, so it's so full of flavor. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the four-pound ribeye will take a little bit a while to cook. I like to tell people to set a timer for 20 minutes a pound. It's definitely on the light side mm -hmm. and then check it. Um, the key to a perfect roast is a meat thermometer. So in the summer, like when we're grilling, we talk a lot about the instant read meat thermometers. Yep. Um, but for roasts, you'd like, you, optimally you want an oven safe meat thermometer. Mm -hmm. So you can put this right in the center of your roast and keep an eye on it. You know, this is a simple just dial. There's nice Bluetooth ones. Wow. Um, there's so many different kind of thermometers. You could you, you could invest a lot yeah. of money, but whatever you like, um, whatever fits your lifestyle. Um, but I would say invest in a in a nice meat thermometer because once you cook that too far, you can't go back. So like I like it a nice pink medium rare, exactly like what I have here. So I took that out at 135 degrees. And then you know too, like we say with your steaks, let them rest, be mm -hmm. patient, yeah. and it's going to be really hard because these are going to make your house smell so good. But you know, a, a rib roast like this can sit 20 to 30 minutes. Tent it with a little foil, it'll continue to rise. Then I've got a beef wellington too, mm -hmm. so um, I kind of like tenderloin on New Year's Eve. Yep. I like the yep. per rib roast on Christmas, tenderloin on New Year's Eve, but um, tenderloins, if you don't do like a wellington, you can cook it the exact same way as the rib roast, so a rack, a cookie, like a, a pan, um, the meat thermometer, a rub, but 425 degree oven. Now for the Wellington, I went ahead and seared the tenderloin. So just did a little kosher salt and pepper, seared it in a little extra virgin olive oil in a heavy bottom pan. You know, 30 seconds aside, real hot. Yep, yep. Get the kitchen a little smoky. And then um, I took one package of mushrooms and a one large shallot and food processed it. And then simmered that just to kind of soften it up, get the liquid out mm -hmm. of the mushrooms. Then a little Dijon mustard, a little red wine, and a little thyme. Yeah, bring it all together. Bring it all together frozen puff pastry go to the supermarket grab one of those let it thaw roll it out a little bit so it's big enough to wrap around your tenderloin and then this goes in the oven i just did it on a jelly roll pan uh 425 degrees this took about 30 minutes perfect it's, so it's not too bad not too hard you can find no, more tips over at right. beeftips.com so we've got some nice beef roasting information holiday roast swaps yeah. i know you're going to link this from your that's website that's right that's right so we'll get everybody hooked up perfect brush up on your roast skills have a great holiday meal yeah. um and we'll yeah. be ready for the holiday season thanks yeah, it's Angie. right around the corner that's right i can't believe it's already here <laughs> I know.